Hello, and welcome to Healthy Habits, where things are seldom perfect, but I am still making progress. So far, I have lost 60 pounds and many inches. I have ditched some bad habits and created new, healthier ones. Mm -hmm. I hope you can find something useful in the things I share here as I continue moving forward. I finished reading my book today, and you can see from all the sticky notes that there are many things in this book that um, I want to remember for a long time. I'm going to share a few with you, but I highly recommend you get this book for yourself and read it from cover to cover. We all have goals that we want to achieve and dreams that we would like to fulfill, but it doesn't matter what you are trying to become better at if you only do the work when it's convenient or exciting. Anyone can work hard when they feel motivated. It's the ability to keep going when the work isn't exciting that makes the difference. This is a distinguishing feature between winners and losers. Anyone can have a bad performance, a bad workout, or a bad day at work. But when successful people fail, they rebound quickly. The break breaking of a habit doesn't matter if the reclaiming of it is fast. I think that principle is so important that I'll stick to it even if I can't do a habit as well or as completely as I would like. Too often we fall into an all or nothing cycle with our habits. The problem is not slipping up. The problem is thinking that if you can't do something perfectly, then you shouldn't do it at all. You don't realize how valuable it is just to show up on your bad days. Lost days hurt you more than successful days help you. If you start with $100, then a 50% gain will take you to 150 but you only need a 30% loss to take you back to 100 In other words, avoiding a 33% loss is just as valuable as receiving a 50% gain. As Charlie Munger says, the first rule of compounding, never interrupt it unnecessarily. This is why the bad workouts are often the most important ones. Sluggish days and bad workouts maintain the compound gains you accrued from previous good days. Simply doing something, 10 squats, 5 sprints, a push-up, anything really is huge. Don't put up a zero. Don't let losses eat into your compounding. The secret to getting results that last is to never stop making improvements. It's remarkable what you can build if you just don't stop. It's remarkable the body you can build if you don't stop training. It's remarkable the knowledge you can build if you don't stop learning. It's remarkable the friendships you can build if you don't stop caring. Small habits don't add up, they compound. That's the power of atomic habits. Tiny changes, remarkable results. If you want to hear more about how to build good habits and break bad ones. You can pick up this book, Atomic Habits by James Clear, or find it on at Audible and listen to the rest of it. So subscribe, like, and share because it's all about healthy habits here.